This is a short talk on temperature monitoring. So to start with, we'll discuss what is heat. Heat is a form of energy associated with the kinetic motion of molecules within a substance. Heat energy gets transferred from a hotter to a colder substance. And what is temperature? Temperature refers to the thermal state of a substance. It reflects the potential for heat transfer. So now we'll discuss the different types of temperature measurement. So we can classify the answer into electrical, non-electrical and infrared tympanic membrane thermometers. So examples of electrical thermometers include the thermistor, the thermocouple and the resistance thermometer. And for non-electrical thermometers, we have liquid expansion, gas expansion, and a bimetallic strip. So to go through each of these in turn now, so the thermistor, the benefits are that they're small and relatively cheap to produce. An example of, in clinical practice, of their use would be in a PA catheter. It's made of a semiconductor, and as temperature increases, resistance decreases, but non-linearly. We then have the thermocouple. The advantages of this is that it has a rapid response time. The thermocouple, the principle behind it, is that it is made up of two different metals, and when there is a temperature difference across the junction between the two metals, a voltage is produced. The thermometer is calibrated and the voltage produced is converted into a temperature reading. We then have resistance thermometers. Resistance thermometers are bulky and have a slow response time, but extremely accurate. The resistance thermometer works on the principle of a platinum wire. As temperature increases, resistance also increases in a linear fashion. This increase in resistance is measured and there is a conversion in the value to a temperature value. Liquid expansion thermometers include alcohol and mercury. Gas expansion thermometers work on the principle that there is volumetric expansion of gas with temperature increase. And finally, the bimetallic strip works on the principle that with an increase in temperature, the metal will expand, causing the dial to be moved. And for infrared tympanic membrane thermometers, all objects emit electromagnetic radiation. The tympanic membrane has a thermopile detector, and this is made up of multiple thermocouples. This is a very rough guide to temperature measurement, and there's lots I haven't included, but I hope it's provided some idea of the classification and different types of thermometers. Thanks for watching.